Hello friends, welcome to jQuery tutorial. Now you are at the second part of the sub series. In this video, we are going to see add dynamic styling to HTML elements. With jQuery, we can add CSS style at runtime to any HTML element. The Atlas method adds the class attribute to the selected element. So you may be aware of this from our previous subseries. So here we are just reiterating that the add class method adds the class attribute to the selected element. So it can be a single element or multiple element. Once the elements are selected or once you have the array of elements, you can make a call to add class. So that means all the selected elements are added with the class attribute, whatever you specify it to this method. Let's have a look at the HTML file first so that you will get a clear picture of how we are using the add class dynamically to one or more elements selected by the dollar function. Here if you see, we have a HTML, uh, here the body starts and it ends here. And you can see that it is a simply a UL tag, an ordered list. All right, you will tag that starts here and ends here. That means here we are forming the unordered list. And we have three ID elements. Right? List item ID equal to fruits. List item ID equal to colors. List item ID equal to countries. Right? There are three list items. Then inside the uh, list item we again have a nested ul tag and inside that we have a set of list element if you see there is one ul that contains a list item after that we have further nested ul with a set of list items here if you see to this list item we are adding fruits then there is one more list item that is colors then what there is one more list item that is countries. Inside we found an ordered list, then we place some list item bananas because it's fruits. And if you see here, we are using the ID as well, right? ID fruits and the ID colors. And if you see the ID is not repeating here. I mean the ID value fruits here, here it is colors and here it is countries, right? So that's all about this HTML. So we have a separate course for HTML and hope you will understand this uh, simple HTML. Here our goal is to learn jQuery. So we won't go complex HTML. Here we will keep HTML simpler and we will concentrate more on jQuery. Here we have two nested UL elements. So this is the topmost world element and here is the second nesting right that's what here we are talking about outermost your element contains an id and we just name that or we are setting the id as a listings every nested list element in the outermost url also contains an id so if you see, this is the outermost UL, right? So this outermost UL contains three list elements. So this is list one, and this is list two, and this is list three, and this is for the outermost uh, UL, or we can say the UL tagged as listings. So listings contains fruits, colors, and countries as a list. Every element in the outermost UL also contains an ID. So we tagged this with IDs. This CSS file defines a class, overline, and underline. So we will be having a CSS file also. 
and in that we define a rule for overline and underline overline underline and if you see this is how we define the rule so defines a class right this is a rule class that means whatever element right say for example if we just pick this green element li class equal to overline underline so whatever element contains class for that we are defining the rule here so a class with attribute value overline underline so if uh, uh, element contains this class attribute then we are defining the rule the rule is text decoration underline overline right underline means say for example let's take list item as mango and this is unordered list right that will come with your bullet mango right underline means it will place an underline here overline means it will place a line above the element after that we are setting the color as blue the text will be in default color and we are changing the color to blue first we place underline and overline then we change the text color to blue then we set this text as bold so if you see we are applying three rules one is applying the underline and overline using the text decoration then we use color attribute and we set blue then font weight using that we set uh, bold font for the uh, selected elements or uh, for the elements that has this class so now the html designer for any element they can use this uh, um, class attribute say for example for germany they can put li space class equal to underline i mean overline underline the moment they put this class to the element then germany will be placed with overline underline the text will appear in blue color and also the text will be bolded so now you know how to manually apply the css style right here if you see the class overline underline will change the text color to blue with lines added in the top and bottom because of text decoration the text also marked as bold because here we use font weight now we will use jquery to add this class to all list element in the fruits and if you see all list element in the fruits in the sense we can use id so your goal is to apply or mark all the fruits and when you look at the html you came to know that uh, all these fruits are placed inside the uh, unordered list and that is enclosed by the list right luckily the list contains id equal to fruits so now we can make use of this uh, uh, fruits id equal to fruits pick all the list element then apply this underline i mean overline underline right now we will use jquery to add this class this class in the sense overline underline class to all list elements in the fruits the ready function is called when the document is fully loaded so we already know this as part of our previous sub series inside the javascript we can make use of ready function and that function will get called by the browser when the document is completely loaded or we can say uh, when all the dom trees are constructed here if you see we use dollar document dot ready and here is the open and close parenthesis so this ready function will get called when the document is fully loaded or dom trees are constructed right when dom tree is complete the ready will get called inside 
you can safely access any of the HTML element because DOM tree is completely constructed. We define a function and pass it to the ready function as argument. So this is the ready function right here. You can place your JavaScript statement, but instead we are passing a function. The ready function can take uh, another JavaScript function also. But instead of writing function separately, we are just defining the function inside this ready function itself. Here if you see, this itself a function or you can look at the color code. The ready function body is there and inside that we are defining our own function. So we kept a different color coding for it. Finally, we select all child UI elements in the selected parent element. If you look at here, dollar ash fruits. So dollar ash fruits in the sense we are picking this specific element. So this is the element we are picking first. If you look at the string ash fruit, ash stands for ID, right? So here we are passing the CSS selector. Select all the element which contains ID fruits and it will walk through the stuff and if you see id equal to listing it will not select that id equal to fruits it will select and the id will not repeat right so it will select this then this symbol you will denote this select an element with id equal to fruit and then select all the child elements right so all the child in the sense id equal to fruits then you will li li so all child will be selected right that's what here we are doing so when we select you all it contains a children list but here for this you will we can apply the style. To add CSS class, then add CSS class dynamically. So if you see dollar hash fruits, you will here we are picking a element you will, which is a child of a HTML element that contains ID equal to fruits. Right? That's how it is picked. Fruits then child of it. This is the child of that fruits. Then dot add class overline uh, underline. So for this you all we are adding a class overline underline. That means since we are adding this class attribute to the parent all the child element li will have or will inherit that class. So all this stuff will get marked with the underline, overline, and the color will be set to blue. All right? And banana, apple, mango it will appear in a bold font because of this CSS style. All right, now let's go to the demo. So, in the last video, we created the folder structure. So, watch our first sub series. Inside the API, we kept our jQuery.js. Right, then we created our first set of example. Now we will create a HTML file. So, okay, it is inside this API. We don't want this to be here. We'll delete it. So I need it uh, here inside the jQuery folder. So now click here, new file. And if you look at here, it's at correct location. Now 002elementstyle.html, which is in the same level with our previous examples. Now we will close previous set of example. Now here we have HTML. The code is available for download. 
so as already explained here is our so as already explained here is our uh, html and you can see we have head section then we have meta title link we are referring css style sheet which is not yet created we will create it soon then jquery js this is the api and which is referred from here you have to watch our uh, first sub series as part of a prerequisite so that you will easily come to know um, the list of uh, uh, action you have to carry out to use the jquery api and then we have the javascript file that's also not yet created all right the body we already discussed in our uh, powerpoint slide right that's all now we'll just uh, check this html uh, just by running it you can see we have fruits color countries right this itself here list and each list contains a nested list since all are uh, equal you will be seeing the bullets here all right this is the html now we will close it next uh, we have the css we will create this file i'm just uh, copying that as we are already referring that so here we are generating the css file for a few web series we will be creating a separate css and javascript and after that we will club everything in a single file for easy learning but this is the recommended one so you may come to know what is a separation of concern so html that should be in a separate file and all the styles that goes separately in a separate or dedicated file and all javascript goes in a dedicated file so when you open html you will see mostly only the html stuff and when you look at the css file you will see only css so first for first few sub series we will follow this notation and then later to make our learning quicker we will club everything in one single file all right here is the css since we already saw about that in the in the theory part we will just paste that rule so overline underline that's the rule and here we placed the three rules for the css next we will be creating the javascript file so this is our javascript file so inside the javascript file we make use of ready function dollar document ready then we make use of our uh, uh, jquery object and dollar and we pass the css selection rule after that we are adding a class overline underline let me save this and run the html again if you look at the error here
dollar is not defined dollar means here dollar reference jquery api or jquery object right so here if you look at the link is wrong js apis and here we are keeping it as api so now we will go to reveal in file explorer and as we see now we renamed it and in each example we are going to use the same header so i just renamed this now we will run this and if you see the banana apple mango all are marked with overline underline the text color is changed and the text is also appearing as bold so if you go to inspect you will id listing So here let me highlight this is head body UL listing so it is highlighting everything so this is the fruit section right this is li id equal to fruits so this is what we are selecting using the ash fruits then child of UL right this one and if you see we are marking that with the overline underline class right that's why when I place the cursor here, you can see what element it is selecting. So it is selecting all the child element. That means when I place class equal to overline underline, it will be applied to the children's of UL, right? Because that contains the text. And you look at here, the class is not added to the list, but it is added to the parent, and our CSS rule is applied to all the li or list elements so the javascript object what we are selecting using our css selector is ul i mean the ul which is child of this fruits because id equal to fruit is marked with this li right now let's go to the sources and if you look at the javascript that's what we are doing here right ash fruits so you can switch between these elements as well as sources this is our source ash fruits and if you look at the element ash fruit the specific element will be selected and in the left side you can see the highlight right the rectangle box appears right and then to the li right we are picking the child this symbol tells the child of id fruits and if you see this is id fruits and child of that is evil all right li id fruit id color id countries so these are all the possibilities but since id equal to fruits is what we want to select this is selected and then in the dollar function itself we pass sibling of li i mean uh, sibling of i mean child of li which is evil and evil is picked then we made call to dot hard class overline underline so overline underline class is added here at runtime right that's why all these are marked with overline and underline that's all here in this video thank you for watching
Bye.